Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Travis. Today is a little bit of an update for those of you who have purchased coral from me or plan on purchasing coral from the website, which is fishofhex.com. And I just want to talk about some of the things that have changed with the website and actually with the business overall when it comes to shipping and uh, I guess my plans for coral prices in the future. Now, I also want to take this time to kind of do some lessons learned about, I guess, shipping within the hobby. Uh, maybe if you plan on uh, selling coral or you plan on selling other things throughout our community, just some stuff that you should take into consideration. So with that said, let's go ahead and first talk about the major change that I made to the website, which is long, long overdue. You guys know up to this point, I've been doing a flat rate zone type of shipping. So if you live close, it was like $20 within a few states around me. And then it progressively went up to about 40 or $45. And, uh, you know, out west, it's now 45. It used to be 40. And that was all good and all. Yeah, it was. It worked for a while. It did a good, you know, it served the purpose of shipping. Well, the downside to that is there's a little bit of an issue when it comes to the exact price that it costs to actually ship something. So let's just talk, give you an example and kind of talk about some of the things I've been dealing with. So say somebody out in California, which is the max red zone, my flat rate shipping, it costs $45. Before it was 40 Say somebody buys two frags for $20 a piece. Awesome, great, I love that you supported the channel. The only issue is is that uh, when it comes to shipping out there, it's never $40 or $45. It's always $55, $60, $65, $70, depending on how big the box is, how much it weighs. And then at the end of the day, say I, I ship you those two frags in a small box, and it ends up costing me $65 to ship it. After packaging, after, I guess, travel to go drop it off, all the ins and outs when it comes to shipping, uh, expenses, fees, all that kind of stuff, taxes, it's almost no profit. It's almost not even worth packing the box. And there's been a lot of cases that I've actually emailed people and said, hey, you gotta add a couple more items to this order or I can't ship it to you. It's just not a possibility. There's, I can't justify shipping because there's not enough in the box. And uh, I've been doing that and dealing with that consistently over the last couple years. Up until yesterday, I, uh, I finally just broke down. I've been, I guess, I, how do I say this? I gave you guys an update a couple of, what, a couple months ago, maybe three or four months ago, talking about uh, I lost upwards of $4,000 in paying the additional uh, price or cost on shipping. So if it costs, if you pay $40 and I end up paying 65, that difference add up to about four grand over a period of time. And uh, it wasn't a very, very long period of time either. So I was, Extremely frustrated. I started looking at my numbers again yesterday and realized that I'm starting to go that direction again And I nixed it. I got rid of it. I got on there I took off my FedEx flat rate and I moved over to a calculated UPS shipping method which is based off of the size of the box and the weight of the coral and whatever else you get on the website Now that's good because you're gonna be paying the exact shipping. There's no handling fee nothing like that It's gonna be exactly what it costs to get to your door based on how much you buy now, of course, there's like one gallon jugs and phytoplankton and, uh, you know, supplements and um, 3D printed stuff. All that stuff has its own shipping amount. And if you can buy pretty much anything together on the website, website right now, and it will give you a discounted shipping based on what you uh, purchase and where it's going and the method that you choose. So it's all working together now, which makes it really easy. Also, it's a lot easier to ship coral orders now. I, I don't have to use a third party. I can simply go through my Shopify and uh, put it on a sticky piece of paper or a sticky label and plop it on the box. It's already taken care of. The uh, UPS location is closer and I can also drop off my USPS there. So it's really nice. One location is closer. So it's all good things. The only thing that I don't like about it, and I, I was uh, thinking about this last night is I know flat rate shipping is something that people like to see. They like saying, hey, I can buy whatever I want. It's gonna cost me $30 to ship, it doesn't matter. But that's okay for people and companies that have a ton and ton of business that have uh, you know, millions of dollars a year and uh, you know, buy a lot of stuff in bulk. For me, yes, I, I sell uh, quite a bit of coral. I do, I do very well for myself. I'm not gonna uh, uh, you know, uh, downgrade it at all. I do very well, but the difference is, is everything that you see and I sell is all in house. I no longer import coral. If I do import coral, it goes over here to the, oh, sorry about the filter there, it goes to the quarantine tank. And if it survives and, and pass the inspection, then it'll eventually come over here, go onto these discs. And at that point, they're gonna grow out. See, I mean, this guy's been in there for a couple months and it's gonna be a long time before I can eventually cut it. So 
it, it all takes time, it's pest free, there's no other issues with the coral, it's healthy, it's tank raised, and uh, my prices are relatively low compared to other companies that are selling the flat rate uh, per shipping, and uh, you know their prices are of course a little bit higher, but they are doing you know, bulk and stuff, so they can justify that. So, given my situation, given how I'm growing all, all my coral now, I don't want to take any more hits on shipping. And I think that anybody who's in business understands that, you know, if you're paying four thousand extra dollars to cover shipping that should have been covered already, that's just not acceptable. I, I can't do it. It doesn't doesn't speak uh, you know, good business. It doesn't it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be successful if I keep doing it that way. Now, yes, I might lose some sales because uh, people are not a fan of calculated shipping. I understand that. And I understood that also when I got, I got rid of my imported system and I went to strictly growing in-house, that was also going to lose uh, money. But believe it or not, after getting rid of the imported system and strictly staying in-house, I am selling more coral now than I ever have before. Hands down, double, my, double the amount of coral sales since I've gone to growing in-house. And, uh, you know, I'm, I know that this change is just going to be something you guys have to get used to, but it's got to happen. Now, lessons learned. If you plan on shipping coral or shipping anything within the community, don't sacrifice anything to cover the shipping. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to look at orders. The last thing you want is when orders come in. I love when orders come in. That little chime on my phone is the greatest thing in the world. I love hearing orders come in. It just means that people are supporting the channel. I don't like looking at those orders and seeing, oh, crap, somebody from Washington bought two frags. Now i got to email this person and tell them, hey, man, you got to buy more coral and then have that thought in the back of my head, well, they might just cancel the order altogether. I don't like that feeling. I don't like having to ask people to buy more coral to justify the shipping. I don't like that. So don't skimp yourself and don't take unnecessary burdens when it comes to shipping. And um, your true fans will understand or your true supporters or the people who like your products will understand that that's just part of business. Shipping is an expense that I don't get anything from it. You don't get anything from it. A shipping company does. And from to get my stuff from point A to point B, somebody has to do it and they're gonna get the money for it. And uh, that's how it is. So now, from this point forward, it's strictly calculated and I'm happy that I'm doing it. Um, so if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. I don't wanna keep going on and on forever. Um, I kinda of do wanna show you the 3D printers, but I guess I could turn the light on. It's, uh, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be a weird color because I got the filter on, but um, that's not the light I want. Jeez. I went ahead and got the uh third yeah that's a weird color <laughs> forgive me it's a uh my third printer so we got two rocking we got some orders going out now finishing up these and then i'm just getting some upgrades for this printer i put on yesterday um these are ender 3 pros um i got a lot of upgrades i plan on doing to make them quiet so i can record while they're running and uh you know make them faster make them work better to get orders out so uh with that said we can get away for that light because that's gonna bother your eyes um, yeah, so that's about it for the video. I'm about running out of time. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I will actually lower the prices of my coral from this point forward. Now that I don't have to cover uh, shipping expense, I can put my corals back to their normal price. So if I want to sell bird's nest for $15 or $20, I can do that instead of selling it for $25 or $30 to cover the what if somebody buys it and I have to cover a bunch of shipping. So those days are over. Now I am starting to add some high-end stuff. You guys noticed that I got some Jason Fox stuff in there. Um, this is stuff that I've had growing out in my grow out system that has to, uh, it just has to grow. I mean, I got, uh, four, I, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to remember the names. They're very expensive. So those four frags right there, $600. Okay. That's, that's what it cost me. So $600 and, uh, they're going to grow into amazing coral someday. I do have the names on, <laughs> on my computer. I'm horrible with names, not only with people, but with coral. So, uh, I actually have a little, a, a little spreadsheet that has all these lined up and then the names in each little box because that's, I will admit, I am not good with names. But anyway, so uh, everything right here, new stuff in that's starting to grow. And of course, we're gonna do an order with my wholesaler and get some potentially really good corals in for quarantine and see what we can expand. So that's about it, running out of time. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I appreciate the support from you know people who have purchased previously and for anybody who plans on doing it in the future. All right, peace.